Hey gardeners, welcome to the first episode of Garden Chat. Today I'm sharing a question from a listener named Peggy uh, about episode 12, which was all about uh, an introduction to soil biology and soil health. Uh, so one of the principles of soil health that we covered in that episode is keeping your ground covered, keeping your soil covered. And Peggy was asking about uh, particular ground covers uh, that are good for this. Specifically, she was asking about ground covers that do well in Washington. So I'm going to run through some of those and I kind of put them into some different categories. Uh, first of all, some native ground covers. Um, one real popular native ground cover is Kinnikinnik or uh, sometimes called Uva Ursi. Kinnikinnik is a great native evergreen. It's a broad leaf. It gets great little flowers and berries on it. It likes uh, sunny locations. It's low growing. Um, it's great in ornamental gardens. And um, let's see, some other natives would be include um, Salau. Salau is a little bit taller growing, but it's great for uh, filling in. The less sun it gets, the taller it tends to grow. So it's if you want it to keep it low growing, it'll still be a foot or two tall, but you can do it in a sunnier location. Um, wild strawberries make a great ground cover. Um, they're edible. Um, they stay leafed out for most of the year. Um, some other just kind of more general ground covers can be um, that are flowering. Things like wild ginger is really good for shady areas. Sorrels, ferns, phlox, woodruff. Um, these are all flowering perennials that make good ground covers. Um, ground cover or covering your soil doesn't necessarily need to be a plant. Sometimes mulch is more appropriate. You can mulch with um, bark, um, rocks like pea gravel or lava rock, um, straw, things like that. So some edible ground covers um, include, like I said, strawberries make a great ground cover. Creeping thyme um, fills in wonderfully around uh, like pavers. Um, it's fragrant. It has um, bright uh, little flowers, so it can be very pretty. Other herbs like oregano um, have a nice mounding habit to them and can make a great ground cover. Uh, some other things would be other, uh, nat some, some are native or what have become known as native ours. And so they were, um, originally were native plants, but they've been cultivated to have different colors or different aspects that, uh, make them more unique. And you can use them in, uh, lawn substitutes. Sometimes you can buy premixes that have things like clover and yarrow, um, things like that that are, are low growing, but not like sh really low to the ground. So some clovers and uh, can get, you know, a foot taller. So something like that would be great for a broader area just to cover, get that soil covered so that you don't have erosion. Or, so you don't have leaching of nutrients through the soil from like heavy rains or flooding. 